There are several different measures of central tendency. And in the popular terminology, they're all grouped together under the term average. So let's be a little bit more precise in our discussion of these measures of central tendency. But before we do, let's make a generalization that if we're doing our calculations correctly, all of these measures of central tendency will be within the range of numbers for our data set. So one of the first things that we should always do is to establish the range of minimum to maximum within our data set. Let's take a look at the measure of central tendency known as the mode. The mode is defined as the most frequent score within a data set. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. Here we have a data set of three, perhaps three participants who have taken a test. Each one has achieved a score between, say, 0 and 10 as a possible theoretical range. One subject got 10 points, another 8, and yet another also got 8. Three scores. Now let's establish the range of scores, minimum to maximum. The minimum would be 8, the maximum would be 10. So our mode, along with other averages, must be within that range of 8 to 10. The mode is the most frequent score, and more than one person have scored an 8, making 8 the mode of our first data set. Now let's look at another data set. This one has four subjects. One scores a 7, another scores a 5, then we have a 3 and a 2, all different numerical values. But once again, let's start with our range of minimum to maximum. Any mode that we do detect must be between the range of 2 to 7. Yet we see here that no number repeats. So therefore our conclusion is that there is no mode. Now do not use the number 0 to express no mode because 0 itself can be a number. It can be a score. And when we have a situation such as this with no mode, the proper thing to do is to write the word no or none. It is possible to have a data set in which we have multiple modes. Let's go back to our first example. And let's suppose that we have another person making this now a sample size of four. And our other person also scores 10. Well, that would make 10 and 8 multiple scores, multiple modes. So it is okay to have multiple modes. It is okay to have no mode. It is okay to have one mode. But let me give you a warning about using Excel to calculate your modes. There is a mode function on Excel. Unfortunately, it misses multiple modes. It will only catch the lowest value, which happens to be a mode. And it will ignore the fact that there may be some other greater number that has an equal frequency. So that is the mode, the most frequent score within a data set.